Indonesian shipbuilding company PT London has invented a hybrid tank boat, capable of sailing up to 40 knots and blasting targets with a 105mm gun. It's officially named the X-18 Fire Support Vessel. It's no surprise the tank boat was invented in Indonesia. The country consists of over 18,307 islands, and ships and marines figures heavily in its defense. A ship that can operate closely with ground forces and provide heavy gun support. The tank boat is 18 meters long, has a crew of four and can carry up to 20 additional troops. It can also embark an inflatable boat for landing operations. Armament consists of a Cockrell 105mm gun and a remote-controlled .50 caliber machine gun. Water jets propel the tank boat up to a speedy 40 knots. The X-18 has a range of 900 nautical miles, the distance from Washington, D.C. to Miami. Tank boat could operate in island chains, riverine deltas, off shallow water coastlines, and urban areas adjacent to the sea. Its shallow 0.8 meter draft means it can get very close to shore without running aground. According to PT London, the X-18 tank boat is an innovative, fast, stealthy, and highly maneuverable catamaran design that provides a stable weapons platform for close-in and long-range direct fire support in normally inaccessible coastal and riverine environments. The X-18 features a catamara hull made of infused vinyl ester composite. One issue with tank boat, the need to make it float means it is very lightly armored, providing protection only up to 7.62 mm machine rounds. In that respect, the tank boat is indeed much more like a boat than a tank. Talking to Navy Recognition, John London, president of PT London explained that the biggest challenge was not the stabilization of the turret but rather its navalization. To adapt the proven Cockrell high-pressure 105mm weapon system, PT London had to apply an anti-corrosion coating, fit additional sealing gaskets and use marine-specific cables and connectors. The X-18 has yet to be built but has already generated an order of 100 units by the United Arab Emirates.